Okay, welcome to my course on Grafana. Now, data can come from many different places, even more than you can imagine. But Grafana provides a way for us to visualize that data through graphs and some level of reporting and alerting. So we need to install Grafana and I'll show you how to do that. Now, Grafana doesn't exist by itself. It needs to extract data from data sources. So there are thousands of data sources and I'll provide you instructions for some of the most popular. For example, MySQL, Loki and Prometheus. And all of these are different enough from each other that you can apply the same concepts to the many other data sources that you will find on the internet. Now when connecting to data sources, that data can be on different servers, different networks. We need to think about encryption and firewalls. So we discuss a lot about how to get data safely through the different processes and making sure that data is secure. Okay, to start off, we'll first go to the test DB data source, which means we don't have to install anything extra, just the original Grafana install. And that means we can just get right on with learning about the Grafana user interface and the many visualization options available to us. Okay, now predominantly, I'll be using Ubuntu LTS servers because they are very easy for beginners to understand. And I provide all the commands in my accompanying documentation website. For example, installing the Loki binary and starting as a service. So all the commands are there. Installing the Prometheus service and data source and installing dashboards as well. Okay, so all the commands are written so that you can just easily copy and paste and we can just get on with it right away. Okay, so during the course, I recommend copying what I do by using the same versions of the software and same operating systems each time so that you can see it working for yourself in the same way that I show it in the video. And once you're familiar with Grafana and all the various data sources and the considerations, then you will be able to apply that knowledge to your more bespoke solutions. So remember Grafana is a tool to help you visualize data from other systems. It doesn't exist by itself, but you do need to develop a skill in order to reverse engineer other systems where that data exists. And you have to get that information through various routes and it has to be done in a secure manner. Okay, so hopefully at the end of the course, you would have developed the skills necessary in order to to safely access data from other systems in order to visualize and analyze that in Grafana. Okay, so thanks for taking part of my course and let's get started.